Right, let's try this again. Hello, <laughs> welcome to an MCM Expo pickup studio. Got some stuff. Got some stuff. Let's have a look at some stuff. Right. First thing I'm going to show is I got Sherlock a study in pink script. Yeah, an actual script. I mean, it's not an official script naturally, it's a reprint, reprint of the official one, but hey, that's still pretty awesome. I get to read along with the script. Pretty interesting. Pretty damn interesting to me, if I do say so. Um, I got a Starly little figurine, which I thought was neat going on the shelf with the other Pokemon stuff. Just like Abra. Abra can go on the shelf as well. So neat. Also got some stuff from Kawaii Alley. Mainly not for me, but I did pick up something for me. I got some Pacho, Puchu, however however you pronounce it. Juicy assorted fruit flavour. It's like a yogurt sweet, it says down here. I think. Yogurt sweets with some gummy, fruity, juicy things in it. So I'm going to be trying these out soon. Seeing how yummy they are. Very yummy, I imagine. Very colourful. Also got a Sega Mega Drive official controller. I have left the prices on still. I really should. I'll rip them off in a minute after I'm done with this, but. or later, but. Twelve pounds for a controller, Christ. <laughs> you can see how much I paid for everything this time. Uh, yeah, this controller's not too bad. It's a little fiddly in the old Retron though. Occasionally the plug there that will come a little bit loose and it just won't work. So it's a little bit fiddly but... Uh, oh well. Games, games, what's the show first? Uh, I'll go for Game Boy stuff. I got Parasol Stars from Ocean. Kind of like the same, it's like the same sort of game as Bubble Bubble in a way. It's pretty neat, pretty cool. £10. It's a £10 game. Who would have thunk it? £8 game for packing time. As you can see, yep, Japanese, it's a Japanese game, it's, well, hmm, Super Game Boy, it's, I don't really know how to explain this, it's like a side-scrolling type thing where you can bounce or throw fireballs, it's a bit weird, it's a bit rubbish, if I'm honest. I uh, got Garms, another Japanese game, this time from Bandai. I don't really know if I like this one. It's sort of a game where you're in a open area, you've got other like robot -y type people wandering around and you just got to kill them. If you get killed too much then you turn into a floating ball that can shoot lasers. Otherwise your attacks in this one is either a free rocket attack or some strange spike that comes out of your gun. It's a strange game, it's okay I guess. And then we've got a lime green Lion King for the Game Boy Color. The camera does this game no justice to show how actually lime green it is. It's weird, it's a weird cartridge. Pretty much picked it mainly because it's a weird cartridge. I'll do the N64 games next. International Superstar Soccer 64. I only really got it because it was four pounds and I didn't want any more change. It's like, yep, buying a 16 pound thing. Let's buy some four pound things so I don't have to get change. So I got that. Hmm. Also got Lilac Wars. Because Lilac Wars. Great game. It's now mine. This is probably my favourite pickup of the day. 
Resident Evil 2 on the PS1. How much was it? £12. Ha, oh, man. You just saw me a little second there. You just saw me. But, £12 for Resident Evil 2. It's like the third copy I own now, along with the GameCube and N64 version. The discs look absolutely wonderful. Like they've hardly ever been played. Neat. I also picked up a Zelda Phantom Hourglass manga book. I've got a few of these now. I gradually collect those. I say gradually. They're fun to read, the Zelda ones. Very fun to read. Okay, a couple of Super Nintendo games. Dragon's Lair. I don't know. <laughs> I saw Dragon Slayer and was like, yep, I'm going to pick up Dragon Slayer. I also got Pilot Wings, but this doesn't work. In the Retron, anyway. Comes up as an unknown cartridge. So, it may work in a normal Super Nintendo. Well, an American Super Nintendo. Or Top Loader, but in the Retron, it's just like a no-go. Which is a shame. It's Pilot Wings. Just the one in the yes game. Paperboy. I quite like Paperboy. Not played it until yesterday. It is too addictive. It's very arcadey. Oh, that is one addictive game though. We'll be playing more of that. And now finally the four Mega Drive games. Start off with the worst one. Virtual Racing. I was getting a bit frustrated because I was hardly finding any game stalls and I had only bought one Mega Drive game so I got frustrated enough just to buy anything and the store barely had any Mega Drive games and they weren't very good so I just got Virtual Racing so shits and giggles it's an impressive game for the time I guess the cartridge is huge also got Dynamite Teddy. Now finally own Dynamite Teddy. Always plan to eventually. Now I do. Good old Dynamite Teddy. Fun game. Uh, picked up Neo Mortal. I've got nostalgic reasons for this one. I remember borrowing it back in the day from someone. It lived about three doors down from me. There was like three of us back when I was younger. We always used to borrow each other's Mega Drive games. I remember borrowing this for a couple of days. I'm quite enjoying it. Despite the fact I get my ass kicked. It's not forty four ninety nine. I paid £10 for it. But I'm going to have to show you something. Because something was inside behind the manual. Bear with me here. I need two hands. By the way, look how thick that manual is. As you can see here, I've got some codes. Someone left some codes. Someone also tried to draw some former map. Miss N. Dale. Hmm. Someone's old address from Middlesbrough. Not only that. Turn this round. More codes? Possibly? Yes? Maybe a cheat? And. I love you, Mick. That's, that's a bit weird. Did someone just give codes and I was like, yeah, so, yeah, look at Yoshi, it's a bit strange thing to find inside a game box, but yeah, at least I got some codes I guess, maybe I can get 
actually see further into the game now. And now the last game I picked up, purely based on the front cover, if I'm honest, because it looks awesome. Mystic Defender. Yeah, it's £20, but look at that front cover, that is terrific. The artwork on that is just terrific. I'll show the back of this one. Actually, I've given it a go, and it did look like an interesting game at the back. I've given it a go, and it's actually not too bad. I can see myself really getting into this game. It's got a decent challenge. Jumping is a bit ropey. It's not the best, but it's manageable. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Anyway, that's the ex... Oh, Meerkats and a panda. That's the Expo pickups video for this year, May 2016. It was fun as all hell, as always. Interesting stories I got. Mighty number no. 9 didn't look all that great, and the guy playing it sucked ass, but hey ho, never mind. So, Lego Batman cosplay. So, anyway, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm hungry. And get a drink because I'm thirsty. So, ta ta.